electrolytes and non electrolytes strong and weak electrolytes a solution is a homogeneous mixture of solute and solvent one useful property for characterizing a solution is its electrical conductivity that is its ability to conduct electric current so solutions can be divided into three categories based upon its electrical conductivity first strong electrolytes second weak electrolytes and third non electrolytes this characteristic can be checked conveniently by using an apparatus this is the apparatus the apparatus consists of n circuit which is completed by the solution which is contained in the beaker and a bulb connected to that circuit the circuit will be completed and will allow current to flow only when there are charge carriers or ions in the solution means the bulb will blow only when the circuit is completed and circuit will be completed by the solution in which the charge carriers or ions are present let's discuss case 1 if the solution in the container conducts electricity the bulb lights here is the image if the solution is conducting the electricity only then bulb will glow means the solution has the charge carriers or ions as shown in the image pure water is not an electrical conductor however some aqueous solutions conducts electric current very efficiently and the bulb shines very brightly these solutions are called as strong electrolyte case 2 if solution conducts only a small current and the bulb glows dimly like shown in the image means this solution is called as weak electrolyte there are few charge carriers so bulb glows but it glows very dimly because a very small amount of current is passed through the circuit case 3 if solution permits no current to flow and the bulb remains unlit this solution is called as non electrolyte as you can see in the image the solution is having no ions or charge carriers hence circuit is not completed and bulb does not glow strong electrolytes strong electrolytes are substances that are completely ionized when they are dissolved in water classes of strong electrolytes are first is soluble salts strong acids and strong bases let's discuss salts as strong electrolytes a salt consists of an array of cations and anions that separate and become hydrated when the salt dissolves for example when nacl dissolves in water it produces hydrated na plus and cl minus ions in the solution Let's see in the image. The first beaker is having solid NaCl. When it is dissolved in water, we can see that solution contains ions of sodium and chloride. So, virtually no NaCl units are present. Thus, NaCl is a strong electrolyte. Means, when NaCl is dissolved in water, it completely dissociates into its ion, means Na plus and chloride ions. Hence. there is no nacl unit is present in the solution hence it is a strong electrolyte strong acids as strong electrolytes a strong acid is one that completely dissociates into its ion in aqueous solution example if 100 molecules of hcl are dissolved in water 100 h plus ions and 100 chloride ions are produced virtually no hcl molecule exist in the aqueous solution as we have discussed in case of nacl so in the image we can see the solution of hcl where only h plus and chloride ions exist and no virtual hcl molecule exist in the solution form hence strong acids also behave as strong electrolytes hence hcl hno3 and h2so4 when dissolved in water they behave as strong electrolytes as a result of ionization reactions in water for example these are the chemical equations which represents their dissociation into their ions hence 
ionization of an acid can be represented as this equation. Sulfuric acid is a special case. The formula H2SO4 indicates that this acid can produce 2 H plus ions per molecule when dissolved in water. Here is the equation of complete dissociation of H2SO4. However, only the first H plus ion is completely dissociated. The second H plus ion can be pulled off under certain conditions only. Thus, an aqueous solution of H2SO4 contains mostly H plus ions and HSO4 negative ions. Strong bases as strong electrolytes. Strong bases are soluble ionic compounds containing the hydroxide ions. When these compounds are dissociated in water, the cations and hydroxide ions separate and move independently. The most common basic solutions are sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, dissolved in water to produce ions as follows. NOH when dissolved in water it produces Na plus and OH negative ions and KOH produces K plus and OH negative ions. Here we can see in the image when NOH is dissolved in water it produces Na plus and OH negative ions. Weak electrolytes Weak electrolytes are the substances that exhibit a small degree of ionization in water. That is, they produce relatively few ions when dissolved in water compared to strong electrolytes. The most common weak electrolyte are weak acids and weak bases. Weak acids as weak electrolytes. Example, acetic acid, CH3COOH. The formula indicates that acetic acid has two chemically distinct type of hydrogen atoms. One acidic and three non acidic hydrogen atoms. As you can see in the formula, the red hydrogen atom here represents the acidic hydrogen atom, and the blue one represents the non acidic hydrogen atom. Acetic acid is very different from the strong acids because only 1% of its molecule dissociate in aqueous solutions at typical concentration. For example, in a solution containing 100 molecules of acetic acid dissolved in water, approximately 99 molecules of acetic acid remain intact and only one molecule out of every 100 dissociates to produce 1 H plus ion and 1 acetate ion. Here is the equation. Any acid such as acetic acid that dissociates or ionizes only to a slight extent in aqueous solution is called as weak acid. Here is the image representing the acetic acid solution. Weak bases as weak electrolytes. The most common weak base is ammonia. When ammonia is dissolved in water, it reacts as follows. Ammonia reacts with water to produce NH4 plus ions and OH negative ions. Ammonia is called a weak base because the resulting solution is a weak electrolyte. That is, very few ions are formed. Example, in a solution containing 100 molecules of ammonia dissolved, only 1 NH4 plus ion and 1 OH negative ion are produced. 99 molecules of ammonia remain unreacted. As you can see in the figure. Non-electrolytes Non-electrolytes are substances that dissolve in water but do not produce any ions. For example, of a non-electrolyte is ethanol. When ethanol dissolves, entire ethanol molecules are dispersed in the water. Since the molecule do not break up into ions, the resulting solution does not conduct an electric current. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.